Why is it that your theory only needs three dimensions and one variable time, but string theory needs ten or more dimensions? Because in this theory there is an infinite number of wave functions, interacting forming an infinity of possibilities. This interaction extends outward from each individual object or observer forming new reference frames or space-time. This forms the non-linearity and chaos of our universe. But unlike string theory each wave function has a two-dimensional boundary area, formed by the spherical surface of the wave function. This exploits the holographic principle, by a process of continuous symmetry forming and breaking. I do not like the idea of a holographic universe, because I believe the universe is real. In a universe of continuous change we can have the holographic principle in a physical universe of continuous creation. Therefore we have a continuous renewing process of change, that we see and feel as the passage of time or arrow of time.